Hi I'm Alan, I'll show you how to figure out this kind of problem. Um, a charge, well, a charge of Q1 equals 8 times 10 to the negative 6 coulomb lies on the origin of the x-axis. A second charge, Q2, equals 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs lies at the 5 centimeter mark. Determine the net electric field at the 12 centimeter mark. Now, it's asking for the net electric field, but you first need to find the electric field of this guy right here. So first, you're going to completely ignore the 3 times 10 to the negative 6, which is this one. I'm just going to scribble there. So first, electric field equals k q1 over radius squared. k is a constant, 9 times 10 to the 9. And you use the first charge, which is that 8 times 10 to the negative 6. So 8 times 10 negative 6. Now the radius. The radius from here to here is 12 because remember you're ignoring this one right here. But it's in centimeters so you got to put 0 0.12 and then you square it. And then you end up getting 5 times 10 to the 6 and then newtons per coulomb. But still, you need to find the second charge. So you're going to use the same equation. K is still a constant. Now you use the second charge. So it's 3 times 10 to the negative 6 over the radius squared. Now the distance between here and here is 7. So, 0 0.07 squared. And you multiply it, figure it out, and you get 5.5 .5 times 10 to the sixth. But you're not done, so now you need to take this one and this one and add them together, and you end up getting the net electric field. Run out of space here. Box it out. So 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the seventh newtons per coulomb. And that's how you figure that kind of problem out.